everyone, this is Sherry Patton Ceramics, and today we're going to be making some uh, fins. They can be for uh, dinosaurs or uh, fish or whatever you like. Um, some people have been asking me about this right here that I use as guides with my students. Um, I have to have a lot of these uh, guides. So uh, my husband gets them at, um, well, he gets sheets four foot by eight foot sheets at Home Depot and he cuts them with his table saw so that I can you know use them with my students because with 200 students you have to have a lot of these so um, and these are our dowels that you get at uh, Home Depot and my husband cut them and and smooth the edges so I don't you know have my students getting splinters so we're just gonna start off here get a piece of clay roll it in your hands you can squeeze it out with your hands this way. You want a long uh, piece of clay. I'm also going to make it a little bit wider this way. So I'm rolling first this way and then I'm going to flip it and I'm going to roll the other direction. Before I roll the other direction I'm going to smooth it with my fingers because there are cracks and if there are cracks it's not going to end up looking good. So now I'm going to roll it this way to get more length. I'm going to flip it. And here we are. Now we're going to take it. We can cut the bottom. You can cut it really into any shape, but you can cut it straight across to begin with. And now we're going to make these uh, fins. You can make them as big or small as you'd like, but it's just basically cutting a smiley face out of it. And I'm going to begin at the top again and cut another. And the next couple, I'm going to make more of a wave just for fun. Right? Go back up and wave down. Go back up. And wave down. So when you do it more like this, it's going to have a, more of a feeling of a kind of a movement, which is kind of nice. But some people prefer it plain like this. Now this is the, the most important part. Is right now you can see that it has two edges. See one and two. One here and one there. And we want to squeeze those edges together so that they look like one. But if we do that by pinching this way, then it leaves finger marks on the other side. So the best way to do this is to take it down like this, and you're going to use your finger not on the side, not on the top, but right on that edge, and you're going to squish down that edge. Squish it down. You're going to really use lots of pressure. And then again with the next one, I'm really pushing down on that edge. I'm going to bring it up closer so maybe you can see a little bit better. So I'm taking my fingers not on the side, not on the top. I'm pushing down this edge right here. And I'm putting lots of pressure on that to really smush it down. And as I'm doing that, I'm making it more of a wave. You can see it more pushing out that way. So first, I'm pushing it down on this side to get that side of it, and now I'm pushing it the other way, and I'm really bringing it over because I want more of that wave look just for fun. Again, make sure you support it before you push down hard, and the other way. You can see I'm still supporting it on the other side. One last one. Here we go on this side and a little more on the other side. Bring it back one more time. So if it gets messed up, then what you're going to do is you're just going to cut out the part that you don't like. And that's so if you want it really sharp, that kind of thing. And then you can just go down with your finger. Try to do more of a long push with your finger because when you do that, 
then it doesn't create bumps on the other part. All right, then I'm going to flip it over. Ooh, nice. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Because right now, it's all on one side. It looks really strange. Because it's all pushed on one side, but it's not even in the middle. So I'm doing the same thing. Really supporting it. All the things that happen during demos, right? <laughs> Just life. I'm gonna use both of my fingers on I use my fingers on both sides to make that sharper. It's also another technique you could do. And there we have a wave. And that looks strange, but with this side, you get one kind of wave. And with the other one, it's another kind of fin or sail or whatever you like to call it. <laughs>